Yeah, so I'm Kyle Forster, one of the founders of Big Switch. And, uh, you know, you mentioned that we've presented a couple times. Uh, a few of us, as we were pulling together the presentations for this, did a little bit of a walk down, down memory lane. And in many ways, our, our, our company grew up with networking field day. This is where we came of age. When we first presented at NFD6, um, we're pretty sure, we think that's the first time we ever showed our first product, Big Monitoring Fabric, outside of Microsoft. When we presented at NFD8, uh, that, was the, that was the first, that was sort of the preview product launch for us of our flagship for our Big Cloud Fabric. Uh, when we presented at NFD10, I think at NFD8 we started talking about our OpenStack integrations. At NFD10 we started talking about our VMware integrations. That was sort of our big VMware launch push. Uh, and it's funny, we were going through the list of things to, to sort of to, to launch today. And it's neat to see that over the, over the last couple of years the list just keeps getting longer. So we have a bunch of things to talk about. It's going to be a lot of fun. But one thing we noticed is that we've always given a bit of short shrift to, we've always focused on big cloud fabric. And we wanted to take this opportunity to spend a lot of the time on big monitoring fabric. So we'll give an update on both, but we're going to spend more time on the BMF demos. First, let me, you know, I think look, most of the folks in this room are old friends who were with us from the very, very early days of the company uh, and guided us along the journey. It's a pretty critical, pa critical path. Uh, but for everybody who's new to the company, but both here and, uh, and on the live stream, l let me give a little bit of company introduction to, to get us started. We, uh, we started the company in 2010 really as, as one of the first companies commercializing software-defined networking before it was really even known as SDN. If we looked at who is the company grew up in 2010, 11, 12, who was most successful at it, we really evolved the mission of the company to be taking designs that we were seeing in hyperscale data centers and creating enterprise and service provider products that took those from the small number of data centers that we felt were really leading the R&D charge to a much broader audience. There are really three parts to that mission, you know, three things there that we really felt inspired by. I mean, the first is bare metal switch hardware. We were one of the first companies to really embrace this and a trend and something that's now become a, a trend broad spread across the industry. Our, all of our products and our kind of core philosophy is built on this idea of separation of hardware and software and networking. All of our products are based on SDN, an SDN approach to software. For us specifically, that means that some of our software is running on the switch and some of our software runs on controller. But the SDN controller across all of our designs is a central part of the, a central part of the design. And then the last we really took, and we'll go into this more and more, we, we took this idea of there's a set of architectures in and around the data center that are, you know, I think in the last five or six years at scale, something that we view as a starting point rather than something that our products also do. At least find classes were the starting point for us for data center switching and routing. This wasn't something that we did second. This was something we did first. And we're incredibly inspired by, you know, the, the Microsoft, the, the, the Daemon project at Microsoft, where, you know, that sort of was actually a joint project that became for us big monitoring fabric. Uh, Facebook's Altoona design, Google's, uh, you know, Google's project Andromeda. We started the company with a hypothesis that as you look at projects like these, you know, are they applicable to a broader audience? Or are these so specific to these particular areas that they're you know, something that only Google can achieve? You know, there's this talk track of, hey, at Google, you know, one person can run a thousand switches. Well, what does that look like for the rest of us? And what can we learn from them? We had this hypothesis that across a much, much, much broader set of organizations, we could see things like 16, you know, 16x faster configuration times. We could see 4x faster application deployment. We could see, you know, well, it may not be one person to a thousand switches across a whole series of operational areas that matter. We could see an order of magnitude difference from what we think of as the legacy approach to networking to the new approach to networking. And we could get there by copying hyperscale designs. Our big cloud fabric, if imitation is the most sincere form of flattery, the Google Project Andromeda team should be very, very flattered. Our big cloud fabric really was a, you know, we worked with four organizations that were looking to commercialize uh, Google's Project Andromeda. 
We'll spend less time on that. We've spent a lot of time on that in the last two NFTs. We'll spend a little less time on that on this one. We'll spend a lot of time talking about big monitoring fabric. Right? This started for us as a joint research project with Microsoft. At Microsoft, it's known as Project Demon, and we then commercialized it as, uh, as big monitoring fabric. And then the third one, an offshoot of big monitoring fabric, is something new that we're going to be talking about for the first time publicly now. We call it big monitoring fabric inline. It's an L1 service chaining. It's basically a security fabric. So we'll spend a hunk of time talking about that one. That's the newest part of our portfolio. This is uh, this. This was actually kind of part of a snapshot from our last board meeting. I show it here only because you know, our company. We've always been sort of a, a, a bellwether for SDN and for bare metal switching. And there are all these. You know, the, the question always comes. So where is SDN? What's the state of the state? And it's wonderful to sit here, yeah, you know, several years after our first NFD, and be able to show. Hey, over the last two years. You know, since Doug joined as the CEO, we've now averaged 40% quarter on quarter growth. We've, you know, in the last 12 months, we've signed five of the largest 10 you know, Fortune 500 service providers in the world. On the Fortune 500 list, we've signed three of the 10 largest tech companies, we've signed two of the largest financial services firms, and yesterday we just announced our C round, a $48.5 million round led by Silver Lake and Morgan Thaler. So I say this only to say that our, our company has grown up you know, with NFD, right? Since NFD6, when so much of this was ideas, maybe one, two, you know, so two early sort of production examples, the landscape, as far as we're concerned, has changed very dramatically. And it makes me very proud as the founder to look at a slide like this and to look at the people in this room who have been with us since uh, before this chart started. <laughs> Why are you know why is this working for us? You know, it, why suddenly are we starting to see you know forty percent quarter on quarter growth? That's the hockey stick. I think it's because SDN in the very early days was fundamentally out of reach. It was really complicated and frankly very hard to understand. For me, as a more traditional networking guy coming to the Stanford research meetings, it, it was tough to grasp what we would do with this. We founded the company on this idea of the one big switch metaphor. And this metaphor pervades the way that we build and use our products. If you think of a traditional chassis pair, everything that you used to think of you know, a function on the soups, that becomes a function on the SDN controllers. You know, the back plane becomes the spine switches. People ask, so wait, what, you know, what do I configure on your spine switches? Well, what do you configure on a chassis back plane? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. You know, what do you configure on the, you know, what protocols are you using on the leaf switches to talk to the spine? Well, what protocols are you configuring on line cards to talk to the backplane? Nothing. It leads to this incredibly simple, but also incredibly intuitive <coughs> approach to managing SDN and bare metal fabrics. And you avoid the whole alphabet soup that comes with other approach to fabrics, and instead you get something that looks and feels like a massive, massive, <coughs> massive chassis switch. So I think making this, building this bridge effectively to, you know, the mo from the world today to the modern world of SDN, this is why our company is going through the hockey stick right now. On the monitoring fabric, the exact same metaphor applies. You take a traditional monitoring, you know, a network packet broker chassis, and what your customer is doing on the service provider, you do on the controller. What you're accustomed to doing on the back plane, for us, those are the core switches for a fabric of 1RU bare metal switches that represent the monitoring fabric. What you're accustomed to on the line cards, those become either the production tap and span facing ports, or those become the ports that face tool farms. And then the new part that we're going to be talking about today is what you're accustomed to configuring on the service card, right? the advanced packet functions. Those go into our new DPDK-based service node. We'll be showing a series of demos of that later. So this takes you know, this old chassis model, and when you kind of blow it up and rearrange it, our mission here was how can we make it you know, easy to manage and cost effective to tap every rack in a data center. That was the original mission statement. 
Uh, that was the, an engineering problem that we solved with this thing. With some of the large uh, service providers, you know, how can we tap literally every tap point, every span point in a large LTE network? You know, these are 8,000, 9,000 tap points. And how can we do that in a single fabric? So this thing scales up massively and it also scales down as small as a single switch. Right, you could run your production ports, your core ports, and your tool farm ports on a single switch. So a very powerful metaphor that makes SDN kind of easy to access, <coughs> easy to grasp, and easy to use. I mentioned at the front, when we started down this journey, we had this hypothesis of, of what would it look like to bring these hyperscale designs to a broader audience. One thing we're very proud of, between last NFD and this NFD, the firm ACG Research did what was basically a, like a time and motion study. You know, taking kind of current, current <coughs> approaches, taking a whole series of different workflows that would need to be done. And they literally did a time and motion study in a lab of compare before to before and after. And it makes us incredibly proud to look at these numbers. We put a lot of blood, sweat, and tears into the user interfaces, into thinking about what we could automate, what we should leave very, very open as knobs for users. We spent a lot of time thinking about our software integrations. And it makes us very proud to say, look, the original idea, the original hypothesis that we had is proving out. So this was a wonderful moment for us at the company. I'm sure you guys see it in these, you know, both in the day jobs and in the tech field days. You see companies at various stages of their maturity. Mm -hmm. We're hitting the stage of maturity. We're now on our website. We have this whole plethora of case studies. And you can look at what people are doing with, the, doing with our products. And we can make introductions to people that have been using them in production and have all kinds of statistics about what they're doing, you know, the results that they're getting from their production deployments. So this slide makes me proud, but the slide that probably makes me the most proud is this one. We have a quote wall. And this is, uh, out of everything you're going to see today, if, you know, this is, uh, as the founder, this is the one that makes me the, the happiest. <coughs> 